Now to the coronavirus pandemic. Today, an FDA advisory panel gave a thumbs up to Pfizer's vaccine for children ages 5 to 11. It is the same two-shot vaccine given three weeks apart. The so-called mini doses are a third of the original dose given to adults. The vial will have an orange cap instead of a purple one, and the shots will be given with a smaller needle. CBS 2's Dick Brennan has the story. We're waiting for it. Claudia Sullivan and her 11-year-old son, Nate, are excited that he will soon be able to get the COVID vaccine. I think it's a good idea to get everyone start, like all the kids vaccinated. Um, we can get COVID done and kids are the only ones left. And now in just a few weeks, all kids ages 5 to 11 will likely have the chance. Out of 18 voting members, 17 voted yes and we had one an FDA expert advisory panel voted to endorse the Pfizer vaccine for kids. Pfizer had held a pediatric trial at Duke University with 4,500 children. That included seven-year-old Lydia Mello and her five-year-old sister, Bridget. It was sort of something brave to do, and we thought it would keep us safe. Pfizer says its two-shot low-dose vaccine is nearly 91% effective in the 5 to 11 age group. But nonetheless, a recent study found that more than one-third of parents would not have their kids vaccinated. I think about holding off until more money, studies money, are done because it's children. Money. Parents are mostly concerned about side effects, but doctors say kids are safer with a shot. Vaccinated children will not spread the COVID virus to their unvaccinated friends, as well as adults in their family who can't be vaccinated, like Nana and Papa. Mayor de Blasio says New York is ready to roll out the vaccines. We have a lot of sites ready, as always, and we're certainly going to consider what we need to do in our schools as well. Now, the CDC still has to vote on this, and final approval could come as early as next week. The White House says it has secured enough Pfizer doses to vaccinate every eligible child, and those doses will begin going to pharmacies and pediatricians' offices as soon as the decision is finalized. Maurice and Christine. All right, Dick, thank you.